today's video, it'll basically be like a studio vlog where I'll be taking you guys along on my week of learning how to, well, really trying to learn how to use gouache and just make some prints. I haven't painted in a while. I've just kind of been sketching and using markers. So using gouache is uh, my first step back into painting. Um, and then it'll also be like a mix of uh, traditional art mixed with digital. So I painted a lot of these uh, pieces traditionally and then did some fine detail work on Procreate. So that will be today's video. So for these illustrations, I decided that I would do a tribute to Peachtober. I was really sad that I didn't commit to it in the month of October. So I decided to make these dedicated to those prompts. Uh, the koi fish in the pond was basically the prompt pond. And then the ladybug was ladybug and I mixed together. I was really excited for that one. And then the one with the blush was obviously just the prompt blush. So I had a lot of fun sketching these and I don't know, I just really got me out of my thinking outside the box. So I appreciated it. Using the Dr. P.H. Martin inks. I kind of messed up with this where I didn't wet the paper enough and when I let the ink drop on it and I started painting it kind of stained so it didn't blend so I was kind of sad about that but it worked in the end. Obviously I covered it with gouache later and yeah. so brad and i just got to best buy uh like we were mentioning we in our previous videos that i needed a new printer so we're here to grab one because we saw a good deal for like early black friday deals so we came to get it <laughs> what do we got here new show it to me let me see the pick does that have a pick Nice. Woo! We got the goods! Where's the best spice time? <laughs> My hair looks crazy. 
All right, guys, so we just secured the printer. It was on sale, so it is a Pixma Canon G3270. Normally, it's $229.99, but it was on sale for $150. So I think we got a pretty good deal on it. It was one of the last two, so super nice. Okay, so for this illustration, the concept was uh, the light would be peeking through the water and you can see that on the koi fish, parts of it have light on it, parts of it are in shadow. And I was trying to come across through the lily pads on the surface of the water that it, some parts were lighter. It was kind of hard to get like the dimension on the surface to make it look like it was underwater and that the lily pads weren't just floating inside. Obviously the ones on the lower part of the illustration are inside the water. I really hope that the surface came across through like the ripples and it was really hard but in the end I was pretty proud of it. I just want to update you guys so for my beautiful returning subscribers uh, they know that I am on a journey and just trying to monetize my channel uh, so I have this thermometer that helps me keep track of how many subscribers I have and every time I reach a goal um, on that thermometer I fill it up with you guys so as of recently I hit 106 subscribers 100 beautiful of you wonderful beautiful people i am so grateful that you guys are part of my journey and i just wanted to fill this up real quickly with you guys uh so yeah <laughs> excuse me excuse me let's hope this isn't sponsored by Canon, but if it, but it can be, Canon. <laughs> um, but yeah, my wonderful, 
100 subscribers. Once we reach 125, then I'll fill it up again then. Thank you guys. <laughs>illustration out of the four I made this week and honestly I think this one is my favorite I love the simplicity of it I really like how the digital art still had texture in it and I love the background I love that I ended up putting flowers in the background I really see myself hanging this one on my wall and I I don't know I'm just really proud of this one and I think it's my favorite color scheme and all fourth illustration I made this would be probably be my third favorite I haven't done like a full scene with the person in digital art yet and so doing this one was a challenge for me with all the layers and I am pretty proud I love the proportions of the girl for the most part the shoes were really tricky but overall i really enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoy it too because i'm proud this concludes my video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope i see you guys in the next video bye